Punjab Medicine's Department of Psychiatry and Behavioral Sciences has the go-ahead to conduct a trial using psilocybin, the compound found in magic mushrooms, to see if it can effectively be used to treat mental health. Psychedelic magic mushrooms are still illegal in the state of Washington, but just this month, Governor Jay Inslee signed a bill authorizing more research. This bill also creates a pilot program through the University of Washington to let certain patients safely access psilocybin. Dr. Nathan Sackett, a professor at UW Medicine, is leading the pilot project that will help develop and better understand psilocybin. Which is really a way to help address questions around safety and efficacy for patient populations that are typically not studied. Sackett is particularly interested in how psilocybin therapy will help people who grapple with two disorders at the same time, like PTSD and alcohol addiction. If we can give them uh, this treatment safely, then perhaps it can provide more confidence that we can give it safely to a larger patient population. While magic mushrooms are decriminalized in Oregon and Colorado, lawmakers in Washington say more needs to be learned. If they're going to get into the role of potentially uh, widening access to this, we want to make sure that it's safe for all people involved. So what does psilocybin do to the brain? When one ingests psilocybin or magic mushrooms, as they're often called, the compound that has the most psychoactive effects is called psilocin, and psilocin enters into the brain and acts on serotonin receptors. Serotonin is the brain chemical that regulates multiple bodily functions, including mood. The team will study how psilocybin interacts with the part of the brain that handles emotion and the part that handles reasoning and intellect. It alters the communication between those two parts and gives us the opportunity to reevaluate our own kind of internal narrative, if you will. Sackett does not recommend people take it on their own, even for therapeutic reasons. The main therapeutic benefit comes in a controlled environment where you have the relationship with a therapist and someone who can help make meaning to the experience. Most of all, UW researchers want to advance the science behind this potential treatment. I think we're at a point where we are in desperate need for more treatments for folks struggling with mental health concerns and substance use disorders. And I'm hopeful that this sort of work will move the needle in that direction and give us more, more tools to work with with patients moving forward. The trial is scheduled to begin in January 2025. It will be based in Seattle and will initially include 30 to 40 military veterans and first responders who have documented problems with PTSD and alcohol use disorder. For HealthLink, I'm Christine Pei.